we were discussing about the topic prayers answered in the last section we were go through the topic or the go through the characters Moses Gideon and Hannah today I would like to go three characters again the first one is Samuel and second Solomon and finally Elisha Samuel's prayer is for Israel's and Solomon's prayer for to build a house and Elisha prayer to turn the people back to God or um, is like a challenge between the people and him the first character is Samuel and the first Samuel 7 verses 9 and 10 and Samuel took a sucking lamb and offered it for a burnt offering wholly unto the Lord and Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel and the Lord heard him for what and the Samuel's offering of the burnt offering the Philistine drew near to the battle against Israel but the Lord thundered with a great thunder on the day upon the Philistines and dismissed them and they were smitten before Israel one thing we can see in the life of or the era of Israel is that whenever they are completely hearing the word of God or listen from Jehovah God of Israel and then they go to the battle they always win but they committed the sin and far away from God they always failed so that thing we can really encourage in our life that as long as we are close to God we win the battle are you trying to overcome the sin or are you trying to overcome from this horrible temptation or the sinful lust which you are slave of are you desperately seeking a relief from that problem you have to be more close to God that's the only way to overcome it but here Samuel is praying for Israel's he made a burnt offering in front of God and cried out to the God God please help Israel's then Lord hear his prayer so how many of us are ready to pray I very rarely pray like that but right now I'm praying for my city my land and my place that God ungodly never overcome godly human nature never overcome godly this worldly desire lust flesh and all kind of lust of flesh and pride of life and eyes lust of eyes never gonna overcome godly thing I pray that I with a burnt offering please help us then he heard his prayer and send a thunder on the enemy's camp and he delivered from all that problems and Philistines Israel defeated Philistine defeated by Israel's that's the prayer of Samuel and the second one is Solomon the first king 9 verses 3 and the Lord said to unto him I have heard the pray, thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me I have hallowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually Solomon was praying to God that and God hear his prayer and his supplication a person one thing I'm so happy that in the very beginning Solomon was taught in the very peaceful and luxury and also the very wisdom from God but finally he fall down even the Israel when they came out from Egypt they were start with more <clears throat> aligned with the God but finally they fall down so one thing we can clearly see that answering the prayer if God answer my prayer is not the criteria that I am getting into the heaven answering the prayer or getting a material blessings or any blessings is not the criteria that make we are 
get into the heaven. Our life, our way of thinking. If God purify us, God filter us and God judge us, how many hours survive? Here Solomon prayed and God grant what he applicated, his application. I have hallowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. If God eyes and God heart on this house so each one of us we can pray for my house your house each one of our house that God help us and be in this house and your eyes and heart be upon purposely on this house of God that will be the great blessings and finally we are discussing about the Elisha we all know the stories about Elisha is against his worldly prophets and they were praying for morning till the evening and they were heard themselves and praying that to one about to Baal that he is the God of giving the fire and rain from the heaven. But the problem was the God was their God was no listen. Finally Elisha came and said, Hear me, Lord. First King 18 verse 37 and 8, 38. Hear me, O Lord, hear me that these people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt or sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that it was then the trench. That fire can come in his prayer. Even though thousands of people against you around you they are saying something the other way but the, if you pray to God he will answer your prayer he will answer your prayer and my prayer that's our confidence may God bless you Amen